Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new re-released Dinka Jester Classic. Um, and the reason I say re-released is because they did originally um, half release it <laughs> during the last DLC, which is the SA Super Sport series. Uh, that it was due to be one of the drip feed cars um, in that DLC. Uh, but as a lot of you may know, when you have PC, you can spawn in these um, unreleased vehicles as soon as they're, they're in the game codes so me being one of the people that was able to do this uh, well anybody who was on pc gta with um, with menus mod and you can just spawn in you know vehicles um you were able to spawn in the original version of this Dinka jester and uh, it, re it received very poor reviews uh, from me included and you know a lot of other youtubers and a lot of other people out in the community um mainly because it was just it looked like a lazy design uh, there wasn't much in the way of customization to the actual car it, one of the headlights was missing a piece of glass the rear tail lights were just awful the texture they just looked like stuck on pieces of card it, it was that bad uh, for the for the rear lights that, that that was probably the worst part of the car and that with uh, those two main things obviously um glaring errors from rockstar uh, being the headlights and the tail lights and like i already mentioned um the <laughs> lack of customization for such an iconic vehicle it, it, it was um it was criminal to be honest so rockstar never actually officially released it in the last dlc which like i said was the sa super sport series um it was due to be a drip feed vehicle but um so it was in the game officially but it wasn't released to be purchased um so rockstar never actually released it officially they pulled it back um and they kept it for this more current um dlc which is after hours and they have tweaked it somewhat um so as you can see right now you can purchase it in legendary motorsports for seven hundred and ninety thousand dollars and as even from these pictures you can see a couple of little changes um which in my opinion look better you can see the tail lights definitely look better uh, even in that front grille we've got a little splitter in the middle of the front grille which is new as well uh, by the looks of this both headlights have it have their glass and then exhaust pipes as well are definitely better than the original um, version of this car you know from a few months ago uh, so we'll grab a look here I have purchased it already if you haven't seen my buy everything video um, from this after hours dlc it was my video um before this one came up so if you want to check it out go check it out so as we can see as we look around this vehicle we do have glass in both headlights it just looks a lot cleaner as well it's like they actually took a little bit more care and a little bit more time in in this i'm glad they took it away because if they released it the way in, in its original state it, it would have been such a flop and a slap in the face of um, people like me who have been with Rockstar and GTA since day, day one. Um, and you know, being a Fast and the Furious fan, you want this to be special. Just like when they released the LG Retro Custom, they made that special. They actually took care in creating that vehicle. And when it was released, it was, well, I, th I thought it was a, a really nice vehicle you know and it's still one of my favorites now so i was very disappointed when this one was originally released but by the looks of this straight off the bat it is actually looking a lot nicer especially with them um, exhaust pipes as well because them exhaust pipes originally man they were fucking hideous they were massive and they just didn't look right at all they looked odd um but these tail lights they look so much better they're actually now in looks like a little bit more 3d they look indented into the car which is amazing uh, because the original versions of them they were just a flat texture and uh, it just looked like they were like they were stickers they looked like they were stuck on it was just really odd and really um, lazy from Rockstar uh, but anyway like I said this is looking amazing compared to the way it used to look and I'm really happy it has now been released into GTA Online and uh, with 
more customization and it's actually the little bits have been fixed so like i said you can purchase this vehicle from legendary motorsports for 790 thousand dollars um not 95 i was about to say 95 for some reason but it's going to be 790 thousand dollars to purchase from legendary motorsports and uh for that price i think it's going to be worth it um so without any further ado let's get this into ls customs and see what sort of customizations we can do to this so you go my bros as you pull into ls customs you'll see the dinka jester classic is in the sports category and that's actually just surprised me i've i've just said that <laughs> the dinka jester classic is in the sports category and i didn't realize that so rockstar have changed this car's class as well because the original version of it if you go check my um, first review of this car the original version of this car back in april uh you'll see that the Dinka Jester Classic was in the Sports Classics class. So uh, not only have they changed a couple of um, exterior features, i.e. the headlights and the tail lights, and the customization which in, in which you can do to the car in LS Customs, have actually even changed the, um, the class of the car, which I think is the first time Rockstar's ever done that. I mean, maybe they've done it to a few other vehicles. Who knows? Uh, because anybody who's a fan of racing in GTL know that a lot of cars in this game are in the wrong class um you know i'd say the drift tamper is a prime example of that as well that's in the sports class where that should be in the muscle class you know um and there's a lot of different examples i can't think off of the top of my head the drift tamper was just one of them um but the yeah i'm just really surprised that this jester jester classic is in the sports category now which is amazing really um hopefully it's going to be competitive i doubt it will be Nevertheless, we're going to crack on with this build. Uh, we're going to go with the armor, as always, with 100% body armor. We're going to go to the brakes and get the race brakes. But a bumper, front bumper. Now we're going to see all the added beauties that have been, <laughs> that have been given to us from Rockstar for this car. Um, so, that's still ugly as fuck. That's new, I believe, which actually looks quite nice. Low splitter if you want to go a little bit subtle, um, like a subtle build. Same with a carbon splitter. If you want to go with a subtle, subtle approach, it, that's quite nice as well again see these are nice options man that i'm not i just don't like that cutout the cutout grill at the top it just makes it look weird you know i, I don't yeah i don't i don't like that at all uh, but all these other ones look sweet man we've got the the drift bumper which um, obviously extends that rear that uh, that middle grill sorry um and then again we've got the low split with canards that looks nice got a little bolts on there as well nice attention to detail the drift with, with the uh, with the splitter, which is nice. And then we've got the street build, and then we've got the uh, intercooler one. Not not overly keen on the intercooler one, but that, that still looks cool, man. It's, these options are so much better than what we had before. Really happy with these um, with these options. I think what I went with last time was something like this. I'm not sure if we got the the splitter with it last time, um, but it's definitely the intercooler with the turbo at the front that I chose last time. That's a nice one as well. Actually like that. I'm going to go with the drift splitter. Yeah, man, that looks sweet. So, yeah, we're going to go with that one. Rear bumper. We haven't got as many options for the rear bumper as what I'd have liked. Um, it seems like we've got pretty much the same options from the original version of it, uh, which is a sh little bit of a shame because these are all fucking weird looking options. That's not too bad if you want, you know, if you go for that carbon panel look. Uh, so that's not too bad. But these other ones with the big diffuser at the bottom, you know, I'm not a fan. I think they look a bit funky. So I'm going to stay away from them. I'm going to probably just stay stock for this one. Then we're going to move to the chassis. Uh, again, I don't think there's any additional options for this. It's pretty much all the same. Uh, but we do get the red racing seats, which is obviously a shame because they're just the standard, you know, generic red, red racing seats that we've had in uh, GTA Online since day one. So uh, that would have been nicer to see maybe a different design of seat. Uh, for this vehicle but it is what it is i mean rockstar have have changed a lot in their defense uh but we are gonna get them because obviously this, i want to turn this into a, like a race car so uh you gotta have the bucket seats man so we're gonna go with the race seats with the primary cage then we've got the engine we're gonna get the level four engine upgrade for the exhausts like i said earlier on in the video these stock exhausts look so much nicer than the original stock exhausts and then we get so much nicer aftermarket versions of them as well. This single chrome exhaust looks awesome. I love the way that looks. Then you go with a double one if you would like. Uh, and then we go a little bit more extravagant with the dual titanium. And then, wow, size of them. 
Uh, yeah, I am not. I don't think I'm going to go that nuts. Am I going to go that nuts? I think I might go that nuts. That does look pretty sweet, though. It looks mean as fuck. Why the hell not? Let's go with it. Let's go with a twin. So next, we've got the headlight covers. This is something we didn't have before. Um, so, yeah, we definitely didn't have these before. We did have these... Um, but they weren't under, I, I believe they weren't under the, the category of headlight covers. Uh, these covers came coupled with a bumper uh, choice. So you choose a certain bumper choice and you got these with that bumper. Uh, but Rockstar reverted on that, made its own category, headlight covers, which is obviously the better um, option, in my opinion. And uh, they've, they've done, it, done it this way with the headlight covers, secondary covers, because I fucking dislike them so much. I think that they just make the car looks so weird <laughs> it's not it's not good it's not a good look um yeah so we've got the carbon secondary and the primary versions of them uh, but we do have the cut off the half cut um, eyelids which i really like i think they look awesome they the stock lights look really good but i think that's a that just sets a different tone to this car and i really like that look so i'm gonna go with them bad boys then we're gonna go to the fender which is another I, I, yeah i believe this is another new category as well so we've got the rear spat which looks awesome because it transforms that rear bumper without actually changing the bumper and then we've got the bolt on arches as well which they look okay they look pretty sweet but i think this rear spat look <laughs> so much nicer than the bolt on arches so we're gonna go with that next category we've got is the hood so we've got the secondary hood which is exactly the same but obviously if you have two different colors it's going to change the color of the hood we've got the custom hood which is that's quite nice i don't think any of these are much different to what we had originally um but they're nice options that's pretty cool i like that that's obviously um iconic from the fast and the furious uh supra the orange one right from the first film uh which is pretty sweet we might go with that one and then we've got the carbon fiber versions of what we've just seen not a fan of carbon fiber um hoods especially on a supra um I'm, I'm digging that mate to be honest yeah man go with the performance hood that looks awesome next we've got the lights we're gonna go headlights and purchase the xeon headlights and this is something i was really hoping for that we'd get some liveries for this vehicle and rockstar has have given us some liveries for this vehicle and uh given us quite a lot as well which is awesome so we've got the shopping list wow yes that's the sort of thing uh, <laughs> that's the sort of thing you want to see on a type of vehicle like this that is fucking sweet i love that that is well good I, i'm really digging that very simple but the for the type of era that this car is you saw this kind of uh, decal on these types of vehicles way back when and uh, yeah it's really cool to see that uh we've got the the jester the 90s graphics in black and the same with the with but in white We've got the smoking tires. Uh, not a massive fan of that one. Uh, then we've got the Fuguru Drift. That looks pretty sweet, man. I like that. Uh, then we've got the Slapdash. That is a uh, another livery. Not a uh, Fast and the Furious. This is... I can't think of his name. Uh, but this is the Supra, the Gold Supra from Too Fast, Too Furious. So that's another build that I can do with uh, with that livery which is fucking awesome now that livery looks sweet that looks so good i mean obviously you've got the um the stock color which i had in blue and it just looks like the back of it's just been ripped off and it's got this um really crazy multicolored um coloring at the back but i like that man i'm, I'm I, I really like that i think that looks sweet that might be one i go with this is another one which looks really good, the Atomic Drift, especially with uh, the two blue contrasting. Got the light blue into the darker blue, or the, it's more of a royal blue, it looks really good. Uh, not a massive fan of the, the, the aero racing. And then we go, we've got a 10 minute car. Obviously, this is not an, at the orange Supra from uh, the very first Fast and the Furious, because uh, Brian owes Dom a 10 second car, and that's where they've got the name from. But it says 10 minute car, obviously. Uh, but yeah this looks awesome and uh, that's definitely another build which will be coming in the future on my channel hopefully in the next couple of days will be the orange super from fast and the furious and that's it so i'm really happy that we've got two main liveries 
uh, from Fast and the Furious, or two nods at the Fast and the Furious ones, obviously this one being the Orange Supra, and then the Slapdash, obviously nodding towards the gold one from Too Fast, Too Furious. But my favourite for this car, I think I'm going to go with... I think I'm going to go with this torn camo. You know, I'm not a massive fan of camo liveries, as everybody should know if you watch my channel, but this is a little bit unique, where, it, where obviously it's torn down the middle, and I, I like the way that looks. The visual of it is really cool. So I'm going to purchase that for now, and hopefully when we change the front colour, if I change the front colour, it might look a little bit nicer because we've got blue already at the at the rear end. So maybe we can turn the front end into, I don't know, like a white or something like that. Uh, but we'll see. So now we are going to move on to the respray. We're going to go to the primary colour and we're going to stay with a classic. And as you can see, it is just a standard blue at the moment. But we need a, a colour that's going to flow really nice with, with green. So maybe even going with like a, a lighter green or maybe even a darker green. Orange again, so also this is Sunrise Orange, that actually looks really good as well. Does it look better than the hot pink? I think it might do, you know. I think the orange actually goes a little bit nice with the green. Ooh, yellow. Yeah, yellow I think is best, the best one so far. So it's going to be the race yellow or the normal yellow. Um, Yeah, I'm, I think the race yellow actually. Because the, the, this normal yellow looks a little bit orangey. So I'm going to go with the race yellow I think. Ooh, or, or do yellow. No, I think I'm going to stick with a race yellow. I actually really like the way that looks. So, for the secondary colour, we're going to go classic as well. And we are going to change this to race yellow also, just so the wing mirrors match the, the rest of the car. Next, we've got the trim colour. Uh, what is this going to change? Is it just the door cards that changes? Oh, and the stitching on the seats. So, that's pretty sweet. Maybe we can change this to yellow as well, uh, because obviously red and yellow looks quite nice. So we go, we've got race yellow for the trim. Does it change anything else? Oh, you've got the stitching on the steering wheel as well. So you've got the door cards, the stitching on the steering wheel, and the stitching on the seats, which is pretty sweet, man. So yeah, I'll go with race yellow for the trim color. So next option we've got is the roof. We've got three additional options for this. We've got the roof scoop, secondary roof scoop, and the carbon. Ah, so it doesn't really matter what one we go to with out of these two. I'm definitely going to go with a roof scoop. So we're going to go with the, uh, the cheapest one. Then we're going to move to the side skirts. We've got two additional options for the side skirts. So we've just got the primary lip skirt and the carbon lip skirt. And because we've got that carbon split at the front, I'm going to go with a carbon lip skirt. So next we've got the spoiler. Now this is another um, area where the original version of this car lacked somewhat. Uh, but this one looks like we've got a lot more options, which is nice. So we've got the boot lip spoiler, which actually cleans it up quite nicely if you want to go with more of a clean cut look. And then we've got the tuna spoiler, the mid-level, uh, the high level. So that's more of a, uh, a traditional um, super spoiler, which is nice, which is something we definitely didn't have uh, on the original version of this car. So it's good to see that. That's not exactly, you know, exactly the same as what the original super spoiler was like, but it's close enough. You know, it's a lot better than what we had before. So I'm happy about that. Uh, we've got the carbon wing, carbon wing type two, carbon wing wide which is crazy big then we've got carbon wing type 3 big gt and the big gt2 and that's that wow so we've got loads of different options now for the spoiler which is nice um i think i'm just gonna go with the uh don't want to go with the high i don't know no i don't think i want to go with a high level i actually like the uh what one did i like i don't know i think the carbon wing wide is quite good yeah, why the hell not? I'll probably never ever use this um, this spoiler ever again. So why the, f why the fuck not? Let's put it on this build. <laughs> so we're going to go with a carbon wide wing. Then we've got the suspension. We're going to get the race suspension, transmission. We're going to get race transmission and the turbo tuning. For the wheels, guys, we're going to go wheel type. And we're going to go with... Where should we go sport? We'll go chrome. See what the chrome's saying. They actually look pretty smart, man. The, the split six, I like them. But then we've got the endo V2. They suit that real nice. They look really nice. But maybe we shouldn't do it chrome. We're going to stock and see what they look like. In black, maybe. So, yeah, we're going to go with the Endo V V.2. And we're going to change the wheel color to carbon black. Yeah, man, I like that. That looks sweet. Then we've got the tires. We're going to get the bulletproof tires just because. And to finish off the build, as always, we're going to go into the windows and purchase the light smoke window tint. So you go my dudes, there is my build on the brand new 
re-released Dinka Jester Classic. And I must say, this um, this version of it is so much better than the original version. The customizations you can do to it are spot on. It's so cool. Um, that livery is really nice. I'm really digging that livery. Really, really liking that. And even with the big wing as well. Like I said, I'm not a massive fan of big wings. Um, but it really sets this car off. And I'm really happy with the way it looks. Um, Rockstar done the right thing in taking this car out of the game. And then re-releasing it with uh, more customization. And actually fixing them rear lights as well. Because them rear lights were god awful. They, uh, fuck knows what they were thinking originally when they first um, made this car. And you know whoever passed... Uh, <laughs> this original version offers okay needs shooting because that is fucking dreadful uh, but yeah their decision to take this away and um, actually fix it and put more customization on it was uh, definitely the right decision and uh, yeah I'm overly impressed with the way it looks right now it's so good really happy with the way it is but uh, I think that's going to be the end of the video now, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like. And if you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 content. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.